please. Shall I proceed? No. See, a person has purchased a call option, has purchased what? Call option. With a maturity period of six months. What a maturity period? Six months. Tell me what is the meaning of that? He has got the right to buy the share. Suppose I bought a call option on TCS shares. Call option on TCS shares. Having a maturity how many months here? Six months. He has got the right to buy the TCS shares after six months. At what price? Strike price. Is the point number one. Respond. Yes or no? No. This option is written on an underlying asset called as what? TCS shares. Any underlying asset will generate income. If it is a bond, it will give you what? Interest. Share may give you what? Dividend. Is on building may give you what rent. Any underlying asset will generate what income. They are discussing mainly about what shares. So what the income given by the share dividend. There can be two situations. TCS declares dividend after nine months. After how many months here? Nine months. I need not worry about the dividend at all because the dividend goes beyond what option period. I don't worry about that dividend. Yes or no? But. TCS declares dividend in what? Three months. Declares dividend in what? Three months. Okay. Now, this dividend will surely affect the call option as well as what? Put option value. When underlying asset generates income, when underlying asset is what? Generates income. During the option period, that income generator will surely affect what? The value of the option is the next issue to be discussed. Now, so what is going to be discussed here? Underlying asset generates income. After the option period, within the option period, after the option period, no problem. Because anything may happen, option A died, yes or no? No. I am only worried about the events happening during what? The option period. If any income is generated by the underlying asset during the option period, it will necessarily affect what the, the value of the call option as well as what? Put the option. How it affects is the issue in the parade and order. And based on that, what formula also will be written. Can I proceed? No. See. Any income or any dividend declared on the share will reduce the value of call option. Any income declared will reduce the value of what? Call option. If the dividend is declared during the option period, it will increase the value of what? Put option. So tell me, dividend will reduce what? Call option value. Dividend will increase the put option value. This is point number two. Conclusion I said. What a conclusion here? Dividends. If during the option period, six months call option, dividend is expected to be declared in what? Third month. Some amount. That means once you know that information, the call value what? Decreases. The call value what? Decreases. When the information is made, the put value what? Increases. Very simple. There is an option trading in the option market. Okay. Today the call option is trading at a premium of 6 rupees. How many rupees? Yeah? 6 rupees. Another 6 months to go. Now TCS announces that in another 1 month they are going to declare a dividend of so much. Are there dividend announcement made by the company a month earlier? Cut up. Yes, then we are having a recorded announcement date. Any other? Now today TCS share call option is trading at some price. Suppose trading at what? 20 rupees. Are you following what I am saying? Now a dividend is declared by TCS saying that in the next month they are going to pay a dividend of so much money. Yes or no? What happens to TCS call premium? Crashes. The premium crashes because the dividend information makes the call value reduce. Yes or no? Now what happens to TCS put option value? Increases. Dividend info increases what? The, the put option value increases. So how share price changes with announcements or not? A company starts a new project, starts what? New project. What happens to the share price here? Yeah? Increase that. In the post CNP project, it can also what? Decrease that. Information only changes the price. So no, when information about dividend comes, the option price is what? Jumps up and down based on whether it is a call option or put option. Everybody following or not? Now, conclusion, call option price decreases when the dividend is announced. Call option, put option price increases when the dividend is announced. Any No. Question is why it happens like that. I'm sorry. I can explain that in different angles. Whichever you feel comfortable, that can be what? Taken for understanding. All also you can understand so you have a better clarity. Can I proceed? Now, the first question is 
why call option gets reduced the value of call gets what reduced due to dividend okay now answer my question your holder of a call your holder of a call now has a holder of the call you have purchased a share having a right to buy the share having what a right to buy the share you have a right to buy the share today after six months by the time you buy the share you lose dividend put it back had you purchased instead of holding a car, if you are holding a share, I will be enjoying dividend. Yes or no? By, by holding a car, I will be what? Losing the dividend is an opportunity cost for a car holder. Yes or no? No. He is holding a car where he loses what? Dividend. Yeah, otherwise, the car is written today on an underlying asset which is come dividend. Which is what? Come dividend. On the time of exercising, it becomes what? X dividend. So on what I am saying? In that case, today's spot price is boosted. Today's spot price is what? Boosted. That should be what? Reduced. So in that case, call option holder loses dividend. Hence, the call value gets what? Reduced. Because of holding a call and not holding a share, he loses an opportunity to receive a dividend. Can you put it there? No. This is point number one. Everybody following or not? No. Somebody says, sir, why sir you say so, not required. I can receive dividend. Suppose today the share is selling at how much rupees here? 100. This 100 rupees is X dividend price, sir, come dividend price. Sir. The dividend is going to be declared. So all of them will be trading at what price here? Come dividend price. This includes a dividend accrual also. It's on home now. It's a come dividend share price. Now a person says, sir, you are wrong. Just because I'm holding call, why should I lose dividend? What I will do is, I short sell the share today. I want short sell the share today at 100 rupees. When I sell the share today at 100 rupees, I sell at the ex-dividend price or come dividend price? Or? Come dividend price. I sell at what price? Yeah? Come dividend price. When I sell at come dividend price, I also receive dividend where I lose. Do you understand my question or not? Now, what I said is, since I'm holder of the call, I will be purchasing only after what? Six months. By the time I purchase, the mail are over. Dividend has been what? Declared. Everybody has taken and gone out. I get only X dividend share. So I don't get a value for the share fully. Hence the call option is what? Less attractive. The premium is going to be what? Less. And dividend is declared. Opportunity loss is the answer. Yes or no? A counter question said, no sir, no need to lose opportunity because what I do is, I short sell the share today. What I will do? I short sell the share today. At how much rupees? 100 rupees. I sell the share at what price? Come dividend price. In this, what is also included? Dividend also included. Yes or no? In that case, I have received dividend. What is problem? No. Because when you short sell the share, when the dividend is declared, the person who has lent me the share asking me for dividend. As a short seller, I should pay the dividend to the person lending the share. If you want to remember the short sell concept. Remember? If you remember, I am the short seller. There is a broker and there is a buyer of the share. I sold the share without holding it. I sold the share without holding it for how much rupees? Yeah? 100 rupees. Other part is purchase the share and have to deliver share. Some lender has given me shares, I deliver the share. Following the transaction or not? No. After three months, if the company declares dividend, it will give the dividend to the lender of the share, buyer of the share, buyer of the share. Lender also will ask for what? Income because he has not sold the share. Who should give the dividend? I should give the dividend to the lender of the share. It's all no. In that case, as a short seller, I will be receiving now what? Spot price. But I have to also pay what? Dividend after three months. So what happens is, this dividend amount becomes a payment for me by holding a call. In part, right? what I am saying? In such case, the call option value gets reduced by what? The dividend. Everybody follow what I am saying? We will see the formula and all later. Up to this, I have the clarity or not? Now tell me, call option holding is advantage, is disadvantage when dividend is declared? Because I don't hold the share, I hold only what? Right to buy the share. By the time I buy the share, the dividend is what? Over. I lose dividend. It's an opportunity cost. Even if I try to claim dividend by doing what? Short selling. I have to anyhow pay the dividend to the lender of the share. So the dividend is an amount lost by me due to what? Holding a call option. Is the answer for the first point. Yes or no? It is very well easy to understand an opportunity for what? Put option. I am a holder of a put term. I hold of what? A put term. I have a right to sell the share at what? After six months. At what price? Yeah? Strike price. That means I can enjoy the dividend and then sell the share. It is better to have a right to sell than what? Sell the share. Because when I sell the share today, I lose dividend. 
when I have a right to sell the share, I can enjoy dividend as well as what I sell the share. So before I sell the share, I'll also enjoy what dividend. In that case, put option holder will be very happy when the dividend is what declared. The asset gains what more value. So put option value increases. Is how the dividend impacts are called option what put option. Very basic primitive discussion has been made. Tell me, will dividend affect the option value or will not affect that? Dividend declared beyond the option period will not affect. Only within the option period will affect. When dividend announcement comes, option prices crashes or increases. Which option crashes? Call option. Which option increases? Why call option crashes? The person holding the option has not purchased a share. He is only having what? Right to buy the share. So by the time he purchases, what happens? Dividend is over. Put down somebody is very happy because I have not sold the shares. He's only having what? Right to sell. Then enjoy dividend and then sell the shares. He saw dividend impacts are called option and put down option. Enough. Please. Next issue. Then I'll give you the notes. Okay. Tell me. We have discussed call and then what? Put down option. Maximum value and then what? Minimum value. Remember, uh, tell me, what is the minimum value of a call option? Spot price minus present value of strike price. What is the minimum value of put option? Present value of strike price minus spot price. Okay, now, when you have dividend, there is a problem in this comparison. When you buy, it becomes an ex dividend share. Today, when you sell, it becomes what? Come dividend. It is wrong to compare a come dividend price with what a ex dividend price and say the value. What about? In the parade or not? No. Because the spot price is loaded with what? Dividend. But when I exercise and buy it, I get the share only without what? Dividend. See, it is wrong to say my property is what? Spot price minus present value of strike price because the option does not give me a right to buy a come dividend share. It gives me a right to buy only what? An ex dividend share. Yes or no? When something gives me a right to buy an ex-dividend share, to value it, I should not take a come dividend price, I should take the real fair price, I should take dividend out of it, yes or no? Now, the spot price is not with dividend or not, so what I should do, I should reduce what? Dividend, I reduce present value of dividend because dividend is not declared today, it is declared after what? Uh, three months. From spot, I cannot reduce dividend, I have to reduce what? Present value of dividend. So, spot price is come dividend, but what I get is what? X dividend. I should not compare a come dividend market price with what? X dividend strike price. The market price should also be made what? X dividend. Because I am not buying a come dividend share. I buy only what? X dividend share on the maturity date. Yes or no? What the option gives me, that only should be taken. Yeah? I cannot take what? It's not giving me. It's not giving me a dividend. How can I take it for my valuation? Yes or no? Is a call option giving me dividend? Da? Will not give me dividend. Da? Will not give me. The dividend should be what? Take note of the calculation. Yes or no? In that case, spot price minus present value of dividend. This becomes, I call it as revised spot price. In our classroom, we call it what spot price? Yeah? Revised spot price. What revised spot price? Yeah? X dividend price. Spot price minus present value of dividend. Minus present value of strike price gives you the value. Yes or no? Now, like that, tell me. I sell at what price? Strike price. When I sell, it becomes what share? X, it becomes what share? Yeah? X dividend share. The spot price is what? Come dividend. Minus what? Present value of dividend. So spot price minus present value of dividend. If bro break open, what happens is minus minus becomes what? Plus. Very simple. What happens to put option is put option pays today's spot price to purchase a share. Minus yes. Put option holder pays today what? Spot price and purchase a share. Is going to be what? Minus yes. 2 plus is that, plus dividend, plus what? Strike price. He gets dividend at the end of what? Third month. He receives dividend, so it becomes an inflow. Is or not? And he is also going to sell it to what? Strike price. After how many months? Yeah, six months. He receives what? Strike price. A yeah, put term option holder has got two inflows. One is he can sell it to what? Strike price. He receives what? Dividend. And what he pays is what? Spot price. But the three numbers are having different time values or not. So what I do? I bring it everything to the present value. So PV of X, PV of dividend and spot price. Everybody, are you in follow what I am saying? Now, come to call option holder. Call option holder receives what? Spot price. He short sells. He want a short sell. This is what a spot price. Now what he has to do? He has to pay the dividend to the short seller at the 
after three months. Then you have to pay the strike price to buy the share after six months to so close the position. He is having two outflows. Dividend and what strike price? The inflow is spot price. For in the outflow is what spot price? Two inflows, dividend and the strike price is the value of the call and put option. Everybody is yes or no. Whatever possible angle I wanted, I just want explained it. In a now come to this. Now you should guess what the maximum of a call option normally. Now what? Spot price minus present value of dividend. What the maximum value put put option? Present value of strike. No need to worry because no spot is coming. That need not worry about dividend at all. It's all no. Now that means nothing great here. Wherever spot price come, search, copy, paste. Wherever spot price come, find and replace. Find yes, replace by what? Yes minus PV of dividend. That's all. Find and replace what? Yes minus PV of dividend. Wherever spot price comes, substitute by what? Revise spot price. What is revise spot price? Spot price minus present value of dividend. Spot price is a come dividend price. Revise spot price is what? Yes dividend price. Why should I not consider come dividend price? Because option is written, not on a come dividend asset. You only have what? Yes dividend. By the time I exercise, whether it's call or what, put option. By the time I exercise, dividend is gone, the balloon is busted. What am I saying? In a so it is with what the dividend is what busted. It becomes what an ex dividend share. So I have to always take only the ex dividend by for option valuation. Everybody are in following or not? With this, we complete. Now, what we are going to do is if it is below minimum, above maximum, how to make the arbitrage with dividend is the next issue. In a Purjira, now. Most of the steps are known to you. One or two small extra steps are only going to be discussed. Please tell me, those understanding this discussion, raise your hand. Now, this discussion is very important because this concept is going to follow us throughout in futures and other issues also. So, with dividend, are you having the clarity or not? Now, consolidate, have our notes and then go for the problems. Okay, please. Tell me point number one. Dividend can be declared on the underlying asset in two cases. One is what? Beyond the option period. And is what? Within the option period. Beyond the option period, I am worried, not worried. Within the option period, yes. Dividend will affect or will not affect or will affect. Now, in case of call option, dividend increases the call value, decreases, decreases. Put option increases the put value. The, the formulas are going to be same. Where was spot price come? Replace it what? Spot price minus present value of dividend. I think they able to understand or not. So this is regarding the dividend and option valuation. Can I proceed? Write down first. Option valuation and dividends. Option valuation and dividends. Switch on the AC. Another 10 minutes. Okay. Option valuation and dividends. Point number one. The underlying asset on which. Point number one. The underlying asset on which. The options are created. The underlying asset on which the options are created may generate incomes. The underlying asset on which the options are created may generate incomes. Point number two. If the underlying asset is a share, if the underlying asset is a share, if the underlying asset is a share, it gives, it gives what? Dividends. It gives dividends and the dividend can accrue as follows. It gives dividend and dividend can accrue as follows. And dividend can accrue as follows. Branch it into two. Tell me what the first branch here? Beyond the option period. Beyond the option period. Dividend can accrue beyond the option period. Second branch is what? Within the option period. Beyond the option period. Second branch is within the option period. Beyond the option period. Put a down mark and write. Option value will remain. Option value will remain what? Unaffected. Option value will remain unaffected. 
due to dividends. Option value will remain unaffected due to dividends. Option value will remain unaffected due to dividends. Second branch, option values are affected. Second branch, option values are affected by the dividend information. Option values are affected by the dividend information. Option values are affected by the dividend information. By the dividend information. Everybody understanding it or not? Next. Point 2 or 3? Three? 3. Call option value reduces due to dividend. Call option value reduces due to dividend. Call option value reduces due to dividend. Because because a call option holder has because the call option holder has only the call option holder has only the right to buy the share. The call option holder has only the right to buy the share and has not purchased the share. Has only the right to buy the share and has not purchased the share. And has not purchased the share. Full stop. By the time he purchases, by exercising the option, by the time he purchases, by exercising the option, by the time he purchases, by exercising the option, by exercising the option, the dividend would have been paid. By the time he purchases, by exercising the option, the dividend would have been paid. The dividend would have been paid. The dividend would have been paid. Hence, hence, there is an opportunity cost. Hence, there is an opportunity cost for call option holding. Hence, there is an opportunity cost for call option holding. There is an opportunity cost for the call option holding which reduces its value. Hence, there is an opportunity cost for call option holding which reduces its value which reduces its value. Everybody following or not? In the point of Purunjaba, no. So why you are having a disadvantage, you having an opportunity cost, it reduces its value. Next point number 4 or 5. Point number 4. Even if, even if the call option holder, even if the call option holder short sells the share at come dividend price even if the call option holder short sells the shares at come dividend price even if the call option holder short sells the shares at come dividend price and receives dividend even if the call option holder short sells that dividend at come dividend come dividend price and receives dividend that's what I said, na? Even if the call option holder short sell the shares at come dividend price and receives dividend and receives dividend through the share price and receives dividend through the share price. Do you understand or not? If I sell at 100 rupees come dividend, it's also having a dividend or not? And receives dividend through the share price. He cannot, he cannot enjoy the dividend he cannot enjoy that dividend. He cannot enjoy that dividend because, because he has it, he has to pay it to, because he has to pay it to the lender of the shares. Because he has to pay it to the lender of the shares. He has to pay it to the lender of the shares. He has to pay it to the lender of the shares. Everybody following or not? Next. Point number 4 or 5? Five? 5. In case of put option, in case of put option, comma, 
its value is enhanced due to dividend. In case of put option, its value is enhanced due to dividend. In case of put option, its value is enhanced due to dividend. Because, because the holder has the right to sell the share because the holder has the right to sell the share and has not sold the shares because the holder has the right to sell the share and has not sold the shares and has not sold the shares full stop he can receive dividend he can receive dividend and then sell the shares he can receive dividend and then sell the shares by exercising the put option he can receive dividend and then sell the shares by exercising put option he can receive dividend and then sell the shares by exercising put option by exercising put option can i proceed or not next last point point number 6 maximum and minimum values of options with dividends maximum and minimum values of options with dividends maximum and minimum values of, of options with dividend of options with dividend In the last conclusion discussion so I have two columns call option and then put option here write what minimum and then what maximum minimum and then maximum Shall we start them now? What is the minimum value of the call? Normally, spot price. Now, minus what? Present value of dividend minus present value of strike price. You can put this in bracket to block it to show a number. Spot price minus present value of dividend minus present value of strike price. Tell me what is the put option value? Present value of strike price minus what? Spot price minus present value of dividend. If you break on the bracket, what is the formula? PV of the X plus PV of D minus spot price. And a minus and a minus becomes what? Plus. Maximum value of the call option is what? Spot price minus present value of dividend. Or maximum value of put option, present value of strike price. We need to worry only when the spot price comes into the equation. Okay, present value of strike price. Everybody following or not now? Point number 7 or 8. Point number 7. Wherever spot price comes, wherever spot price comes, we replace with, wherever spot price comes, we replace with what? Spot price minus present value of dividend. Wherever spot price comes, we replace with spot price minus present value of dividend. We replace with spot price minus present value of dividend. Because, because when the option is exercised, because when the option is exercised, the underlying asset is an ex dividend asset. When the option is exercised, the underlying asset is what asset? Ex dividend asset. When the option is exercise, the underlying asset is an ex dividend asset. Hence, the option is really created on. Hence, the option is really created on. We create an option on a come dividend asset, ex dividend asset, ex dividend. Hence, the option is really created on an ex dividend share. Hence, the option is really created on an ex dividend share. Hence, the share price to be considered also should be hence the share price to be considered also should be the share price to be considered also should be what ex dividend price hence the share price to be considered also should be ex dividend price the share price to be considered also should be ex dividend price that is spot price minus present value of dividend 
as appears to be considered also should be ex dividend price that is spot price minus present value of dividend that is spot price minus present value of dividend spot price minus present value of dividend everybody are you following or not no with this we complete the minimum maximum value of call let's quickly do three problems while we are seeing the arbitrage okay now 9.15 we have time or not? 45 minutes we should safely complete what? See problems other than target before they will never leave office. Can I proceed or not? No. See. How auditors never leave you for the class now? I will not leave you for the office unless I complete what? The three sums. Okay. No. Understand that they are withholding you for their benefit. I am holding you for your benefit. It's all right. Seriously, I am saying. Okay, now. Action may be same, intention is different. Can I proceed? No, I okay, now. Take question number seven, please. Take question number 27. Yes, on offer. Please. Shall I proceed up now? Twenty-seventh problem. Let us start. A four-month. Please request. Shh. All these sums understand that. 90% of the solution you already know. You already want? No. Just 10% here and there, the extra steps are involved. That's all. Already and the maximum minimum arbitrage or not is going to be the same way now also. Okay. Now, earlier revision also happens now. Can I say? Now. Four month European call option on a dividend paying stock is currently selling for rupees 5. The stock price is 64. Strike price is 60. Dividend of rupees 0.8 is expected in one month. Risk free interest rate is 12% per annum. Calculate the minimum price of European call option. What opportunities are there for an arbitra? That's the question. Okay, please go through the question. They will start with the solution. Shall we start or not? No. First. Write down facts. Write the facts. Spot price is equal to, please do along with me, facts. We will do the solution together. Okay. Facts. Spot price is equal to, what is the spot price is equal to, how much will be? 64. Spot price is equal to 64. It is a ex dividend price or a come dividend price? Come dividend price. Okay, it is loaded with the dividend. Strike price is equal to 60. Strike price is equal to 60. By paying 60, I get the ex dividend share, come dividend share, ex dividend share. By the time I exercise, the dividend is over. It is not going to be the ex dividend price. Okay, please. Dividend is equal to, what is dividend is equal to how much? 0.80. Dividend is equal to 0 0.80. Option period or option term. What is the option term? Four months. Is a four months call na? given the question first line? Option term four months. Option term four months. Dividend date. When the dividend is going to happen? After one month. Dividend date after one month. And interest rate how much percent? 12 percent. Interest rate 12 percent. 5 rupees leave it. What is the 5 rupees? Option premium. Actual price setting in the market. That is only right or wrong. I have to check now. Can I proceed? Now, leave the 5. Either facts given. Can we start or not? Now, step 1. All of you participate and do. What is step 1? 
minimum value of call option. Step 1, right? Minimum value of call option. Step 1, minimum value of call option. Let's do it together. Tell me the formula. Minimum value of call option is equal to Solupa. Spot price minus present value of dividend minus present value of strike price. Accept or not spot price minus present value of dividend minus present value of strike price is the minimum value of the call option. Now, I should do two present value calculation dividend and then one strike price. You should discount them at what discounting? Continuous discounting. In the parade or not? Now, see. Present value of dividend is equal to what is a dividend amount? 80 paise. 80 paise received today after one month. After one month into e power minus 1 by 12 into 0.12. I hope you are all doing along with me or not. So it is 0.8 into e power minus 1 by 12 into 0.12. Just simply it is going to be what? 0.80 into e power minus 0.01. Yes or no? E power minus 0 0.01 is equal to 0 0.8 into, you should tell me 1 by, what is E power minus 0 0.01? Tell me, 1 by 1 plus 0 0.01 by 1 plus 0 0.01 square by 2 plus 0 0.01 cube by 6. What is that? 1.01, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.8 into 1.01005. 0, 0, I hope you are following or not. Tell me what the present value of the dividend. Monthly minus 0.8 into 1 by 1 point. Can I have it as 0.79? So the present value is going to be 0.79. The PV of dividend is equal to 0.79. Everybody following or not? Now, nah. next I have to find out also what present value of strike price is equal to. Please. Present value of strike price is equal to what is strike price? 60 into 60 into e power minus after how many months? 4 months. Minus 4 by 12 into 0.12. 60 into e power minus 4 by 12 into 0 0.12. Everybody understanding it or not? No. Please tell me it is present value of strike price is equal to 60 into e power minus 0.04 is equal to 60 into 1 by 1.04 0 okay 1.04 0 8 into 1 by 1.04 0 8 I think you all should know the e calculation that I assume it okay but you only told me the numbers also what is the number here 57.65 the present value of strike price is 57.65 60 rupees after 4 months is 57.65 today. 80 paise after 1 month is 79 paise today. Now, can I continue or not? Now, minimum value of call is equal to, minimum value of call is equal to answer. What is that here? Spot price. What is spot price? 64. Spot price is 64 minus, what is PV of dividend? 0.79 minus, what is PV of strike price? 57.65. Can knock off and tell me what is the number? 5.56. This call is minimum worth 5.56. Everybody understanding my discussion all. The call is minimum worth how much? 5.56. But in the option market, in F and O segment of stock, you have seen how much rupees there? 5 rupees. Option is trading at 5. It is worth what? 5.56. Is it underprice or overprice? Then the option is underprice buy or sell. I have to buy the call option. I have to what? Buy the call option. Buy means what? Hold the call option. As a holder of the call, tomorrow, what are you going to do? Buy that share. Today, what do you do? Sell that share. What sell? Short sell. Tell me the strategy here. Short sell the share and buy the call. What the uh, what is the strategy? Short sell the share and buy the call. Can I present or not? Write down. Next. Step 2. Step 1 over now. Minimum value of call is over. Step 2. Please. Step 2. The call is minimum worth. The call is minimum worth 5.56. The call is minimum worth 5.56. But is trading in the market at 
but is trading in the market at rupees 5 but is trading in the market at rupees 5 but is trading in the market at rupees 5 hence the call is the call is what underprice hence the call is underprice should be purchased hence the call is underprice should be purchased bracket the purchase means what holding should be purchased bracket right hold the call is under price should be purchased bracket right what hold the strategy is next line right the strategy is tell me strategy short sell the share the strategy is short sell the share and then what hold the call the strategy is short sell the share and hold the call short sell the share and hold the call Everybody up to this, are you following or not? Now, step 3. Step 2 or step 3? Yeah? Step 3. Arbitrage profit. Please. Step 3. Arbitrage profit. Can we do it together or not? No. First. Point number 1. What are you going to do? Short sell share and what buy call point number one short sell share and then what buy the call which is equal to when you short sell the share tell me what is the amount i am going to pay or get a get i short sell at what price yeah spot price what am i going to get 64 and i buy the call by receiving premium paying premium paying how much i pay five is it called how much is 59. Today I am having in my hand 59 inflow or paying 59 I having. So the 59 is what? Inflow. What I do with the 59? Deposit. Point number 2 is what? Invest. Do I get Invest. How much rupees? Rupees 59. At what person? 12 person. For how many months? 4 months. 4 months option now. Invest 59 at 12 person for 4 months. Okay. Now, I go to sleep. Already we are doing that only. I go to sleep. But now, I wake up after four months. Huh? Earlier. Huh? I have to wake up after one, one month. Because I short sold somebody's person. Says, yeah, he is not getting dividend after one month. I have to pay dividend to the broker. Yes or no? Now, I have short sold the shares. Very simple. Your share I borrowed and sold. Then you are still the holder of the share. Other party also has one, bond the share. Both are entitled to dividend, but I get the dividend through so come dividend price. Yes or no? That means I should pay the dividend to the person who has given me the share on loan. In the right or not? So after one month, I have to pay the dividend to the broker or not? Right on. Next. Point number three. Pay, that is, or before that, borrow rupees. 0.80. Next, what Borrow rupees 0 0.80. In a how to pay dividend? I have to borrow money and pay dividend. Yes or no? I cannot pickpocket pay dividend. They have to borrow money and what? Pay dividend. Borrow how much paise? 80 paise. And what person? 12 person. For how many months? 3 months. In a after 1 month, I am going to borrow. I have to repay after what? 3 months. Borrow 80 paise at 12 person for 3 months. And pay. And pay how much dividend? 0 0.80 dividend to broker and pay 0 0.80 dividend to broker and pay 0 0.80 dividend to broker. Everybody, are you following or not? At the end of first month, I should pay to the broker how much dividend? 80 pays. Where to go for 80 pays? Borrow. How many months here? 3 months. Respond is yes or no? Now, next point number 4. At the end of fourth month, two things happen. The maturity of the deposit, the maturity of the borrowing, both is going to happen, yes or no, now. And point number four, maturity value of deposit is equal to, maturity value of deposit is equal to, so 59 into e power, how many months, four months now, point zero four. In the upper 59 into e power point 04. Compound for 4 months at 12 pounds. 59 into e power point 04. Already have the number earlier there. It is 59 into 1.04 08. 
15 into 1.0438. Number is the the number. How many days here? 60? 61.41. 61.41. Please. And it is 61.40. 61.40. Not an issue. Okay. Now, don't fight for one pi save. I'll give you. Can I say 61.40? Please. Maturity value of borrowing is equal to how much I borrowed? 80 paise. I am a beggar, not even having 80 paise. Borrowed. Okay. Having what? 80 paise into e power. E power what? 0 0.03. I borrowed only for how many months here? 3 months. Into 0 0.03 is equal to 0 0.80 into this. Y'all know now 1.0305. 1.0305. Malvan, tell me what is 0 0.8 into 1.0305? 0 0. <coughs> 0. 0.8244. That is 0. 0.82. So the measurement value of the borrowing is 0. 0.82. Please. Next, please. Net amount. Net amount is 61.4 minus 1. 0. 0.82. Tell me what is the net amount in my hand. Tell me the amount here. Tell about the 60.4 minus 0.82 gives or 60.58. Before you shout, think and shout. Can I say 60.58? Now, see, stop writing. I am having in my hand how much money? 60.58. Please, everybody respond. Yes or no? Now, see. Can they take the 60.58 home up? No. I have short sold the share. I had just one. Short sold the share. I should buy the share and return back to the broker. Yes or no? no. I have got two options. I can buy the share in open market or I can buy the share by what? Exercise in the call option. Tell me what the call option strike price. What strike price here? Yeah? 60. Two things can happen. FSB more than 60. FSB less than 60. Are you with me or not? No. If the FSB is more than 60, suppose 70, what I will do? Exercise the call and buy at 60. FSB is less than 60, what I will do? Allow the call to lap and buy at a lesser FSB. One thing is sure, I will never pay more than what? 60 to buy the shack. Yes or no? How much money am I having in hand here? 60.58. That point 0.58 is arbitrage profit. In the parade or not? Please respond. Yes or no? Right now. Next. Point number 4 or 5? Five? 5. On maturity day, Last point, point number five, on maturity date, on maturity date, branch it into two. On maturity date, please branch it into two. First branch, FSP greater than 60. On maturity date, branch it into two, FSP greater than 60. Second branch is what? FSP less than 60. Please, FSP less than 60. FSB greater than 60, put the domain and write exercise call. Yes, exercise call, purchase the share at 60. Exercise call, comma, purchase the share at rupees 60. Purchase the share at rupees 60 and square off short position. <laughs> exercise the call, purchase the share at rupees 60. And square of short position. Squaring up means what? Closing out. And square of short position. Second branch. Less than 60. What I will do? Allow the call to lambs. Allow the call to lambs. Allow the call to lambs. Comma. Purchase the share at. Purchase the share at what? FSP. Allow the call to lambs. Purchase the share at FSP. And square of short position. Purchase a share at FSP and square of short position. And square of short position. Everybody, yes or no? no? Same point, you continue below this chart, below this branch, continue separately. Whatever may be the FSP, <coughs> whatever may be the FSP, the maximum price paid. Whatever may be the FSP, the maximum price paid to purchase the share is, whatever may be the FSP, the maximum price paid to purchase the share is, 
the maximum price paid to purchase the share is how much rupees? 60. The maximum price paid to purchase the share is 60. Last point. Point by 5 or 6 is 6. Profit is equal to how much money in my hand? 60.58. What I pay to purchase the share maximum? 60. What the profit? 0.58. This is a maximum profit, minimum profit, only profit, minimum profit. Can even be won higher if the FSP drops. I think I'm not falling out, so profit is 0.58. Please respond, yes or no? No. Check. I don't check. I don't check. This 0.58 profit a year now, after the four months, after four months, I don't check. Present value of profit is equal to check. Present value of profit is equal to 0.58 into e power minus 0 0.04. 4 months discounting at 4 percent, yes or no? 0.58 into e power minus 0 0.04. La purunjin nerdi apa? 0.58 into e power minus 0 0.04 is equal to 0.58 into chorus. I will tell me 1 by into 1 by what? 1.04 0 0.08. 0.58 into 1 by 1 0.0408 is equal to how much? 0.56 is equal to 0.56 is equal to 0.56 what is this 0.56 difference between the actual call value minimum call value actual value is 5 minimum is how much? 5.56 this is nothing but this is nothing but difference between this is nothing but the difference between actual call value and is nothing but the difference between the actual call value and the minimum call value. Is nothing but the difference between actual call value and minimum call value. Bracket the 5.56 minus 5. 5.56 minus 5. Can you proceed above? Now. Let us take question number 29. I will do the minimum value of foot. Okay, these two are more logical. Maximum will be doing in the next class. Okay, now take question number 29. With this, I will stop today. Take question number one some short. Okay, take question number 29. Please. Shh. Okay. Can you switch on the AC? Yes, One year, European put option on a dividend paying stock is currently selling for 15. What is at 15? Tell me. Now, stop. One minute. Those who want to leave, now it's a leave here. After I start, don't start. Can I start or not? Now, please. Shh. Under 10 minutes, I'll complete. Please, listen. One year European put option on a dividend paying stock is currently selling at 15. What is the 15? What is 15 year value of put option, option premium. Stock price is 80. What is 80? Spot price. Come dividend or ex dividend? Come dividend. Strike price 100. What is that year? Ex dividend. Dividend of rupees 10 is expected in 6 months. The recovery rate is 10 percent per annum. Calculate the minimum price of the European put option. What is the opportunity that is available for an arbitrary? Can you do it together or not? Write down first. Facts. Write <coughs> down facts. It is question number 29. Facts. Please. Spot price. Facts, spot price. Look at the problem. What is spot price amount? How much is 80? Spot price 80. Next is strike price. What is strike price amount? It is 100. Spot price 80, strike price 100. Dividend. What is dividend amount? 10. Dividend 10 rupees. Dividend is 10 rupees. Option term. <coughs> what is the term of the option? One year. Option term, one year. Dividend period. Dividend period after six months. Dividend period after six months. 
Interest. For the interest, 10 percent. Interest is 10 percent. Let's do it together. Step 1. What is step 1? Minimum value of put option. Minimum value of put option. Minimum value of put option. Can you start or not? No. Formula. Minimum value of put is equal to Sullupan. Present value of strike price minus spot price minus present value of dividend. Present value of strike price minus spot price minus present value of dividend. Some books also add as PV of X plus PV of D minus spot price. Both are what? Same. Now I have to find out two things. Now first is one. Present value of strike price. PV of X is equal to I think strike price 100. 100 into E power minus one year at what percent? Ten percent. That is one hundred into e power minus one into one zero is equal to what is the number? Hundred into e power minus point one zero, which is equal to hundred into one by. Tell me ten percent continuous discounting one point one zero five two one. One point one zero five two. 100 into 1 by 1.10, 5, 2, 5, 3, yeah? 5, 2. Okay, 5, 2. Tell me the number, yeah? 90. 90.48. The present value is 90.48. Please. <coughs> 100 rupees after 1 year is equal to 90.48 today at 10% continuously discounted rate. Next. Present value of dividend. Present value of dividend is what is dividend? 10 rupees m into e power minus 6 by 12 into 0 0.10, which is equal to 10 into e power minus 0 0.05. 10 into 1 by 1.05, 13. 13. 10 into 1, say 10 into 1 by 1.05, 13. 13. Tell me the number here. 9.51 9.51 Personally, I am dividend is 9.51 <coughs> Last Minimum value of put is equal to Please Minimum value of put is equal to What is present value of strike price? 90.48 90.48 minus What is spot price? 80 Minus 9.51 Please Don't disturb, please 90.58 minus 80 minus 9. Somebody should tell me calculation. Don't add you get the Can I go say now? So 90.48 minus 80 minus. What is the number here? 1%. 19. 20 rupees. Yeah. I'm going to be here. 20 rupees. Please. Value of the put option is 20 rupees. You know, also it as 19.99. That is wrong. Okay. So 20 rupees approximately. Can I present or not? No. The putty is trading in the market at how much rupees? 10 rupees. Worth how much? 20 rupees. Is there an arbitrary profit or not? Yes. We have to go for the thing. Okay. Or if you also want, I said 19.99. I don't want to disappoint you. 19.99. Can I proceed or not? Next. Step 1 or step 2 or step 2. Identification of arbitrage. Identification of arbitrage. Identification of arbitrage. Okay. The put option is minimum worth. The put option is minimum worth 19.99. The put option is minimum worth 19.99. But trading at but trading at how much rupees? 10. But 15 or 10 upon? But trading at 15. But trading at 15. Minimum worth 19.99. But trading at 15. Hence, the put is underpriced. Hence, the put is underpriced. Hence, the put is underpriced. And recommended to. And recommended to what? Buy it. Hence the put is underpriced and recommended to buy it. 
I'm recommended to buy it. Stop writing and tell me when you are buying a put, you are holding us, writing a holding a put. As a holder of the put, tomorrow you're going to want sell the share. I have a right to sell. Tomorrow you're going to want sell the share. Today, what I should do? Buy the share. The strategy is <coughs> the strategy is hold the put. The strategy is hold the put and want buy a share. The strategy is hold the put and buy a share. The strategy is hold the put and buy a share. Shall I proceed or not? Now, step two or step three? Or step three. Arbitrage profit. Step three. Arbitrage profit. Okay. Point number one. What is point number one? Buy a put and what? Buy a share. Buy a put and buy a share. I buy a share today by paying how much rupees spot price? 80 rupees. 80 rupees. I buy a put by paying how much premium? 15 rupees. What the amount to be paid? 95. This 95 is an inflow, outflow, outflow. Where to go for this money? Borrow. Next point number two. Borrow rupees 95. At what rate? 10%, 10 percent for one year. Borrow rupees 95, 10 percent for one year. Now, next. When I wake up, Six months. Why? I receive what? Dividend. I purchase a share, na, the company will give me what? Dividend. So I don't receive rupees. How much dividend? 10 dividend. Receive rupees 10 na, dividend. Receive rupees 10 dividend. And deposit at what person? 10 person for six months. Receive rupees 10 dividend and deposit at 10 percent for six months and deposit at 10 percent for six months yes point it's all known now point number four after one year there is a borrowing maturing there is also what deposit maturing it's all known i don't maturity value of borrowing is equal to maturity value of borrowing is equal to 95 into E power point one zero. In a parade or not? No. <coughs> Maturity value of borrowing is equal to 95 into E power point one zero. Is equal to 95 into 1.1052. Point point Tell me the number. 104.99. Okay, leave it here. Yeah. 104.99. Please. Mature value of borrowing 104.99. Next. Maturity value of deposit is equal to maturity value of deposit is equal to how much I deposited? 10 into e power point zero five. 10 into 1.0513. Right Continuous common number na? 10 into 1.0513. Is equal how much? 10.51. Maturity value of deposit is 10.51. Now, the net amount to be repaid is what here? Yeah? 104 minus what? 10.51. Write down. Net borrowing is equal to 104.99. I have to pay. But I receive how much? 10.51. But net borrowing to be paid here, yeah? how much is going to be? 90? 94.48. 94.48. The net borrowing to be repaid is 94.48. Where should I go for this number 94.4? Where to get the money? Sell the share. But I'm already having a share or not. I'll be one selling the share. Please stop and tell me I have to sell the share or not. No. There are two situations. What is strike price in this problem? 100. If FSP is less than 100, share is trading at 60. How much rupees? 60. I can sell at how much rupees? 100. By exercising the put, I get how much rupees? 100. If FSP is 150, what I can do? Allow it lapse and then sell at what? 150. Anyhow, minimum I'll be getting how much rupees? 100 rupees. But what is the amount to be paid? 94.48. The balance is arbitrage profit. Respond. Yes or no? I don't. Next. Point number 4 or 5? Five? 5. On maturity date, 
on maturity date branch it into two on maturity date branch it into two on maturity date branch it into two first branch fsp greater than 100 first branch fsp greater than 100 that side are you falling above fsp greater than 100 second branch is what fsp less than 100 fsp greater than 100 fsp less than 100 fsp greater than 100 put that down in my gun right what i will do allow the put to laps i don't allow the put to laps allow the put to laps and sell the share in the market at fsp allow the put to laps and sell the share in the market at fsp and sell the share in the market at fsp and repay borrowings and sell the share in market at fsp and repay borrowings and repay borrowings i hope everybody understanding it or not go to the second branch fsp less than what you will do exercise the put exercise the put and sell the share at 100 exercise the put and sell the share at 100 and repay borrowings exercise the put and sell the share at 100 and repay borrowings exercise the put and sell the share at 100 and repay borrowings everybody tell me yes or no now write down next line separately write whatever may be the fsp whatever may be the fsp we sell the share at a minimum price of whatever may be the fsp we sell the share at a minimum price how much rupees 100 whatever may be the fsp we sell the share at a minimum price of 100 we sell the share at a minimum price of 100 can i proceed next last point point number four five or six uh, six profit is equal to profit is equal to how much again 100 how much i have to repay 94.98 profit is equal to 94.48 sorry 100 minus 94.48 what is the number 5.52 profit is equal to 5.52 is a minimum profit or maximum profit or minimum i can even get more if the fsp increases last check check or line here check present value of profit is equal to check present value of profit is equal to present value of profit is equal to that is how much of it is 5.48 5.48 in 5 point 5.52 into 5.52 into, into e power minus point one zero 5.52 into e power minus 0 0.10 which is equal to 5.52 into 1 by 1.1052 5.52 into 1 by 1.1052 1 by 1.1052 is equal to how much 4.99 4.99 so what are 4.99 different between what minimum value and actual value it is nothing but it is nothing but the difference between it is nothing but the difference between the minimum value and actual value of put it is nothing but the difference between the minimum value and maximum value of put is nothing max minimum value and actual value of put and i just felt minimum value and actual value of put bracket la how it is here 19.99 minus 15 19.99 minus 15 